Yo guys, what is up? ASIC here with another Mobile Legends video. For today's one guys, we're gonna talk about the market value. So what should you buy on early game to mid and late game on the market to get the best value out of it. And also we're gonna talk about the pool party over here, the pool party shop. Also, what is the best value to go over here in the party shop, which should you buy to get the best value out of it, of course. And also we're trying to get Nathan now. I've already or also read his skill description and especially his Orlay and Soul Vessel. They seem pretty, pretty nice. So we're gonna get him, I think, yeah, we, we definitely wanna get him and we definitely do get him today since we have over here six of those red boxes. I think they contain each of them should be one, one of these transistors. And also we have 14 out of those green boxes. So let's go ahead and open up the 10 boxes of the green ones. Let's see what we can get out of this. We get one transistor, that is awesome. So we need one more guys and we get Nathan. Four more, open them, nothing. So we have six more. Let's see if we can get them or not. Some item. Okay, there we go, finally man. But nice, we get a 24 hour gold. Gold is also a thing you always wanna get. And also those small supply of advanced essences. Cause especially early game, you need them guys. So now let's activate Nathan. Let me show you guys the little movie. I think you already saw it. Yeah, he's a bit buggy, but still we got him. Nathan, five star. Awesome. Welcome to my team, Nathan. Let's just go ahead to the suburb. Oh, wait. Holy Sanctuary. Do we have space? I think we should have space, right? Yeah, we do. So let's put him in. Where is he? Oh, wait. We have a Claude on six star. <laughs> I'm fighting on Guild War with a five star, man. I'm so dumb. But okay. So where is our Nathan? Nathan, where are you? There is a Materazzo. There is a Nathan. There we go. Okay. Awesome. So now we have also a Nathan in our team. But yeah, now let's go into the market, guys. So on the market, of course, always get the free one. That is, of course, the thing you always want to get. But now I'm talking about early game. In early game, especially on this market, you want to get those advanced senses. You need them, guys. Gold is also a thing you will definitely need. But if you're lacking on those advanced essences, you cannot upgrade your heroes. And most of the time over here, you can see we have 40% off. When you start the game completely new, don't buy those for 300 gems unless you are stuck and you have plenty of gems. But I personally, um, I think it is way better going for heroes since... Yeah, you might have some heroes, but those heroes aren't the best one in the game. So you want to try and get other heroes. And <clears throat> sorry, guys. And uh, the gems you will definitely need all the time. So go ahead, buy those advanced senses over here for uh, 2.5 million. It is 500 of those. I think if you buy 100, you it will cost like 500,000. That is something you guys can definitely do. So. Now it is coming to mid game and also this, the sign of stars, you always want to purchase them. I do purchase them every day, but only with gold because 180 gems for 200, it is way too much since you will get them also for free if you fight on the track of miracle bosses. So, and over here you can see sold out. We always buy this orange one. I think it's the soul core. Um, or is it the soul core? Let's see, I think it is. We have them, where are they? There we go. Yeah, soul core. I'm buying the soul core. Normally I buy both, but we have 1,400 of the soul shard. So that is why I'm buying those ones since we need 300 from level 10 to 20. And so that is two heroes to soul vessel 20. And that is a lot. So you wanna buy those for gold, even though it is very expensive, but if you are on mid to late game, mid game is for me when you have five uh, awakened heroes. That is one thing you guys want to get first. 
don't focus on anything else go always for heroes unless you have five of your awakened heroes that means if you have five you can go ahead and buy those soul core you can buy the soul shards and the soul meteor we have 600 so that is just two but 600 of those costs i don't know i think let me let me see guys let's let's go into those markets and see 10 is 2000 gems you might get a discount especially a thing you want to also check out is the labyrinth shop since most of the time there is a discount go to labyrinth if you have swiped this one over here yeah there is a discount now we have 20 percent discount so when you buy those Guys, never ever buy it in the market. If you want to really buy these Soul Meteor packs, wait for the Labyrinth. When they drop over here, also with the Advanced Senses, it is kind of good to buy them sometimes, but only if you have a lot of gems. So, and over here, we, yeah, we don't have those. But also, don't buy those Omen Crystals or the level 1s, I think. What are those? Yeah, Omen Crystal Heavy Light. Okay, no. It's Omen Crystal and I'm not sure which which one is the other one. We could have a look. Omen Crystal. Oh, we have four of the light. I think that is awesome since we want to get our Lunox. Okay, the next one is Astral Stone. So those you also only want to buy when you, there is a discount out. But only again on mid game. Don't buy them. Don't buy any equipment in the market unless it's for gold. But look at this. 3,000 up to 2,700 with a 10% discount. You can buy them in the Labyrinth with sometimes 40% of a discount, especially on the dark one. So over here, as I said, focus, of course, on the free one, the advanced senses. Those one you can buy, but only if they are available with gold. So sometimes they are available with gold, um, but with the gems, 20 fragments. So that is a one three star hero. 360 gems you will be if you go for the advanced summons or premium summons guys it will cost you 250 gems so that is absolutely not worth it and also you can get a five star hero out of it so don't buy this one guys over here again sign of stars always buy with uh, gold a uh, one million one million gold for 200 is definitely good and yeah so now let's go into the dungeon shop in the dungeon shop the first thing you always want to get again especially early game is only heroes and the best heroes over here in the dungeon shop are Odette, Angela and Irithyll and Vexana so those four heroes I can always recommend but as you guys know I'm a fan of Angela because we will come to that with the brawl when we switch to brawl shop Angela is just a beast paired with Valor and over here, 6,000 Nightmare or, or Normal Coins. So those are Nightmare Coins. We have 11,000. You will always get, as you see, refreshes in 18 days. So we could still buy heroes. But we're not going to do this. Since all of those heroes over here, in, uh, I think Diggy is not. But I'm not interested in Diggy, guys. But yeah, Vexana we could buy. But my Vexana is on 16 or 17 stars. We still have 7,000 five star fragments when we open them i'm pretty sure we will get vexana so i'm not too worried about that and odette also those heroes are all on max so i'm not gonna buy them yeah those one the token of valor guys don't buy it since they only give you 250 attack and stuff per level and no this is for sorry it is for the library but they won't give too much since I, I can show you this Temple of Oracle. That is really something you want to get when you are on Endgame. And for me, even though I'm on a very high level, I don't think I'm completely Endgame. So I focus on the heroes and also the Soul Vessel. Oh, not Library, sorry. Damn it. It's on Gallery of Valor. So we have a 35, level 35. Look at this, 4,000. And if you want to buy them, and I'm not on a high level, I'm on level 35, guys. Ah, uh, let's see, the, there is the dungeon job. Look at this, 4,000 nightmare coins. Definitely don't buy this. Don't buy this. You can go over here for carry mat. Normally there should be Amateras also in. I'm not sure where she is. Maybe it will come when this refreshes. So with the nightmare coins, I only buy the 
heroes and also i'm saving them up since i'm pretty sure they will be coming something different you want to buy also with this one that is something you can buy since this will give your equipment the faction based bonuses and you want to get those definitely guys and again save them up don't buy those for token of valor so if you are on mid game to late game if you have five as i said guys five awakened heroes that is what you're looking for and if you have five of those you can then focus on getting the soul meteor packs and stuff since they cost over here 25 of those 5000 that is something which i think is really valuable because you would pay for those 2000 for 20 so 4000 5000 for 25 5000 gems and you will get them over here not for gems you will get them for the uh, the dungeon coins so that is what you want to go if you have five awakened heroes guys and also again over here those advanced senses that is something you always want to try and get as i said especially early game we have 312000 it might sound a lot, guys, but we will need 15,000 per level. So we have 20 level. That's it. 20 level isn't a much. So yeah, 300,000 still is not too much. And maybe I should also focus about buying them. But as I said, Soul Meteor is the better choice for me. So now let's go to the Guild Shop. So on Guild Shop, one thing what I'm doing and I do like is sometimes really just sometimes buying those one over here we get a 30 percentage off and we get chaos we get all the factions over here and if you're lacking on those equipment you can buy those but then again those one like the astral stone omen crystal those have more value but of course you only have a use for them if you have those so focus on getting those equipments you can also, guys, you can also get the equipments for free in the Labyrinth. If you want to wait, if you are a patient dude, just wait. It's absolutely fine since this is a idle game. You want to wait. You want to um, you just slowly progress, not rush the game. So you can buy those then. And when you have them, over here, you guys see, we have on this one 12. Over here again, 12. So that is only three heroes. It is three heroes, nothing more. And you not only need a medium one, you need also a light one. And also after light, you need the heavy one. So we have 12 over here on this hero, uh, on this hero, on the heavy stones. And on that heavy stone, we have eight. So we can just bring up two heroes to um, the equipment tier two. And after that, there is tier three also. So. That is something you definitely want to buy. As I said, if you are a patient dude, you can also go for those. Also something over here, you can see we have the faction. We have the faction bonus in. If you buy those, there is no faction over here. But if you buy, there is a chance that this equipment will then have a um, faction based bonus. So you can also buy those if you want to gamble a bit. Definitely try it out. And also, if you won't have any of the factions, you can get it with this stone over here. So if you want to gamble, try it out, guys. But I personally do like those since we also have always a 30 percentage off. All right. Next shop is the Brawl Shop. There is nothing to discuss on this one. You want to go for Valor. You always want to go for Valor and get Valor to Awaken. That is the first thing you want to do. There is a really good amount of heroes over here. We have Valor. We have Lolita. We have over here Argus, also a really good hero, especially for Tower of Babel, even though I don't like him too much anymore. But still, he is viable. We have Gajin over here. We have Balorik. Balorik also one of our, the best tank in the game. You want to get him, guys. We have... Lilia over here synergizes very well with Argus and Odette. So you can buy a really good amount of heroes and also really good heroes over here. But the first thing you want to get, guys, is that Valor. Valor again paired over here with... Where she is? There she is. Angela is just so beasty. 
And if you don't want to go for Valor, it is fine. You can also go for Odette. You can go for Damage Dealer like Alice. But you want to pair those heroes with Angela just because of the attack bonus and also the, uh, what's it called? The energy, like transferring the energy. She will immediately give your hero 1000 energy, which means the hero has full energy and will use her ultimate. And most of the time she does it twice since your hero will have a lot of energy with soul vessel. She only needs 700 energy to activate. And then your hero is almost full and Angela like don't use us all the energy, like just 500 energy. So go ahead guys, give Angela and Valor or any other damage dealer a try. Also, you can go with x and stuff. You guys know my lineup with Hylos, x Valor. We beat teams with over 4 million more power. I have like 8 million. The enemy has 12 million and we still beat them, guys. So again, only choice over here is to get Valor to Awaken. Awakened 1 or Awaken 0 is absolutely enough, guys. It is enough. Those heroes won't get too uh, much stronger on 18 star so uh, awaken is absolutely enough in my opinion so and of course if you have all those heroes and also i think king of or i'm thinking about of building two valor to awakened we already have one 18 star and i think a six star or a seven star not sure but yeah i'm thinking also of doing valor but also we have valerick over here and lilia those heroes we also want to get, especially Valoric. I love that dude, man. But yeah, if you then have all those heroes, of course, go for the Soul Meteor packs. But still, they are over here pretty expensive. So 30 costs 200,000. We have 3 million right now. That is a, a lot. We saved them up for, I don't know, like a year or something. But yeah, okay. That is, again, everything for the Brawl Shop. Now let's go for the Honor Shop. This one, guys, is really good. You have a chance to get equipment, hero fragments, advanced ascents, etc. You always want to buy these. Fast idle all resources. I will show you this. You will get really all resources. And that is a thing you definitely want to go. Also, over here, premium summon scrolls. But the miracle summon scroll, I don't recommend. It is too expensive. And no, I don't like it. Rather go for the gold. Because you will be lacking on gold a lot of times. And sometimes you can also go for the epic equipment coin, even though it is not necessary, guys. You will need or you will get the epic equipment coin always on the guild boss. So don't waste too much over here in the honor shop. This one, okay, we can buy it two times. I'm always going to buy these guys. So let's go ahead and show you the item. That item, guys, is so, so good. Let's use up two just to, or let's use one. Look at this. We also get the sign of star, which is worth 500,000 gold. 85 is 500,000 gold. About 500, sorry guys, because uh, 200 is 1 million gold. 85 is around, let's say 400,000 gold. We get the token of valor. We also get over here frost monolith fragments. There can also be some other fragments. 200 advanced descents. So that one, guys, has really the best value. And a lot of people don't know about this one. So let's go again to the market and to the shrine shop. And on the shrine shop, again, first thing you always want to go for is those five star heroes. But also, guys, if you're really struggling on food, you can buy those, of course. So even though I don't recommend doing that too much, since you will get them by a premium summon summoning or by friendship summoning. But then again, sometimes you're just stuck and you need like one uh, martial fodder like a one three star fodder to get to a higher level with uh, let's say Hayabusa or any other hero. So you can go ahead and buy those, of course. But again, those 50 are the best value. Let's go ahead, buy two of those. There we go. Now we need to summon again to get those shrine thingies. And we almost have, yeah, 7,500 almost. I think on 7,500, we're gonna go ahead and open those. Over here again, token of valor. Don't buy this. 50,000 for 2,500. For 50,000, you will almost get 150 five star or like a three five star heroes. Don't waste resources on those one. The token of valor, you will get a thousand every day 
uh, sorry, every two days if you find the track of Miracle Boss. So now we have the last shop and it is over here, the pool party, party shop. So the best value, let's talk from the beginner, like if you started the game new. So don't go for the advanced senses. It costs five, but again, there is better value, even though if you need them, of course, go for them, guys. But I'm not recommending it. If you start new, always go for those premium summon scrolls. You will get 10 summon scrolls for 25. We have 60, so we could get um, 20 of those premium summonings. And the good thing about those, you will get fodder and you also have the chance to get an epic hero. And that is what you want to focus on. Also, if you then are on a later game, because on the beginning, you can't use those sacred scrolls. You can buy those. But what I personally find really interesting is this one, the Omen Orb selection. I will need those. I don't need any of those summon scrolls or like the fragments. Even though I really, because the, the drop rate of five star epic heroes on this game is really, really good. So that is one thing you can also go ahead is the five star hero fragment. Um, go ahead, use them. Those one five star hero choice card that can give you also fodder. So good thing about this, you can choose if you want like a, you can see over here, light element, dark, tag or martial type. It could be also a fodder, but sometimes you need fodder. You don't need the epic heroes, you need fodder. So you can also go for those. But what I think is the best one, the premium summon scrolls, just because I'm also kind of a gambler. I like going for some risk, even though if I don't get anything, we have fodder over here. But as I said, this is something I need. That is something I definitely need. But yeah, we have pool party over top. I think it could be good just because that is something unique. We won't get this ever again. We have the bunny, the tavern bunny girl. Again, is it necessary? I don't think so. But if you want to go for it, go for it, of course. And the profile background. A hundred. I don't know. I don't think I don't recommend any of you guys going for those. If you want to have progress, don't go for those. If you want to have some special and unique account, definitely go for those, especially the overtone. I think maybe I will buy the overtone just because I want it, guys. And you know what? Let's go ahead buy this. There we go. So we have this. So this is forever. And that is what we always looking for, for a unique account. But those 100, nah, man. We will get, look at this. Those cost like, I don't know, we can also get them by campaign, by idling, of course. But those would cost something like 5,000 gems for a single one. And I want to get those guys, of course. So, all right. I think that's all of the shops. And yeah, guys, that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Feel free to like, subscribe, and also, guys, leave down a comment below this section. Bye, guys.